quick video, a couple of cases I've seen the past week. Um, with big muscles come big responsibilities. So today I want to talk about the adductor magnus, okay? It's the groin muscle, the big groin muscle of the leg, of the thigh. So this is the right hip, right leg, I'm sorry. And important thing to remember is because the adductor magnus, magnus meaning like big, um, it could compensate for other muscles in the leg. I call it the neck of the thigh because the neck is a big compensated for the rest of the body. So long story short, one of the insertion points of the adductor magnus is right by the medial inside part of your knee called the adductor tubercle. And then that inserts the vertical fibers of the adductor magnus and there's more horizontal fibers um, further up in, near the hip joint. Now, I've seen a case where, or cases in the past where the adductor magnus could be compensating for a weak VMO due to knee swelling, as well as today, this morning, anterior hip pain, especially with squatting. And you just work on this area just a little bit and those other muscles come back in line. So the adductor magnus isn't just a groin or hip adductor muscle. Along with the other adductors, it could internally rotate, it could flex the hip, as well as extend the hip, okay? So big muscles have big responsibilities.